Yo, what's up people of YouTube? So, uh, I haven't done a video, I think, this week at all. But uh, anyway, it's Friday today, so it's uh, time for some Friday Chi. So I might as well just start with the Friday Chi. I got 8k, I like point almost 3, and then I got 300 more over here. So, here's to uh, us hoping we're gonna get some good shit. Uh, let's just, uh, we did our lucky time, and hopefully we're not gonna DC. I don't know if you guys have noticed it or anything, but the last couple of days, I've been DCing for no apparent reason whatsoever. Um, like, on my main character, on my market, it doesn't really matter. Um, uh, I got one computer hooked up with Wi-Fi and one with just uh, with a cable, so there's really no reason for the internet to just uh, for the game to just collapse, and uh, nothing else. Like I, I can watch everything, I can do shit in the computer, but for some reason, just the game just DCs all the fucking time. So hopefully it will not DC while I'm recording, otherwise I'm just not going to upload it, I guess. Um, but uh, anyway, while we're doing some cheap, I wanted to talk about the newly released uh, list of shit that we're going to get from Perfection System that will come on, uh, I think, the 22nd? Um, yeah, so I'm sure a lot of people went and looked at the... Um, list and one thing that was fucking clear that was um, that you are gonna get a fuckload of P attack and also P defense and M attack and M defense but a shitload of P defense and P attack which is crazy the amount um, because Let's say what well, we have 107, right? Let's say someone, uh, let's say a duke or a prince, not a bulker or anyone like that, just uh, you know, regular. Let's say wealthy um, guy with uh, you know a good amount of CPs to spend on perfection. Let's say they have, let's like, say, uh, 150. Level 150, let's say maybe 180 uh, above us. Let's you know, let's even give them level 200. All right, so let's just check at level 200. Uh, let's see, let's see, level 200. You get. Oh, oh, I'm looking at the wrong chart. All right, so level 200. All right, let's see. 200 is gonna get uh, right. Level 200. What? There's, okay, I'm looking at the graph at the website, and level 199 gets uh, 380, uh, sorry, 3,870 P attack and P defense. Uh, and then you don't have level 200, you have, you have straight into level 201. Either way, either way, alright, so... Someone way, way above us is going to get uh, almost 4k P attack uh, over us, basically. Well, not over us, I'm, I'm level 107. But let's say someone, uh, you know, a prince, a duke, they have 200 perfection, which is amazing by all counts, uh, without bulking their asses off. And they're gonna get 4k P attack. But if you see what the kings are gonna get at the levels that they are, which are around max to, you know, high 500. So you go to the max, which is 647. And then they're gonna get 16.6k P attack. And almost the same P defense. Which is absolutely crazy, and people been going on about it, crying their little whiny asses off on forums. And uh, first, it's a huge, huge amount of P attack, 
And yeah, there are there's a huge difference in level between most of the people and uh, the most wealthy kings that have high, high perfection. And that shit is crazy. Uh, crazy, crazy gear attack. See, I'm not saying it's bad, because it's not bad. Yes, it, you know, widens the gap between the kings and uh, everyone else. But, you know, there should be a gap between kings and everyone else. That's a whole freaking point of being a king. What's the fucking point of being a king if, you know, every little shitty guy from the street can uh, basically own your ass, right? Because that's not how things are. So, I'm I'm saying, yeah, it's a fuckload of P attack and stats you're going to get. But I'm not saying it's unbalanced. I don't think it's uh, going to break the game or, you know, it's... Everyone just, like, going crazy on the forums, crying, and, oh my god, everyone's gonna uh, quit, no one's gonna play, it's gonna break the game, it's gonna be this and that, and bullshit and bullshit, and it's it's not really gonna break the game, guys. It's just, you're gonna get more P-Attack, and, yeah, well, the thing is, probably people with, you know, maybe they have plus 12 uh, gears, but if they don't up the perfection, then yes, they're going to be left behind. And a lot of people that already have their, you know, plus 12s or didn't even get there, yes, you're going to have another mountain to climb because this game keeps evolving. And sure, the highest kings just throw money at this game and they get the highest shit uh, all the time. Sure. Whenever, you know, anything, any new system comes up, they get, they get the highest, the first. Sure, it's okay. And sure, it might take us a while to get to the higher uh, levels of perfection, but it's still doable. It's still doable, and the thing is, um, I'm kind of relaxed about it, and I don't really, really care, because, sure, if, if people don't have... If you have non bounce non bound items and you look at perfection and you're like, well, I'm fucked because I'm gonna get, I'm gonna have to go and uh, buy a bunch of uh, elite plus eights that are just not in market at all anymore. Um, yeah, so, I'm, and that's pretty fucking expensive, expensive, and I get that. But um, myself, and I'm sure some others. We got all bounds. I'm 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 not dependent on plus eight gears that just shows up on market when someone wins them in lottery. You know, I can just slowly, slowly, every couple of days get my bound CPs and up a little bit. And sure it might take me a while, but I can still get the bound CPs to work for me and up my perfection. And then use whatever CPs I can, uh, you know, trade and gather, and use them to uh, buy more shit or use them to get more bound CPs. But um, in the end, it doesn't matter since even if I don't make, you know, regular CPs, I will always get the bound CPs every couple of days. So I'm not really worried. I actually like all the P attack and the P defense. Um, I think it's awesome to add some stats luckily they didn't fuck up with uh, they didn't add P strike or uh, anti break and whatnot that shit would have uh, well if they added the same amount it doesn't really matter I guess well it does now but in the long run people are gonna get you know slowly people are gonna get to the higher and higher uh, levels of perfection so when it's gonna be, uh, you know, the king is gonna have it maxed at uh, 647, and let's say the regular population will have, let's say, even 400 and 450 levels, then you still gonna have the king's still gonna have around, uh, you know, 6k p attack over, and that's that's okay, that's okay, that's still a lot of uh, levels to up and shit will take time that's the whole fucking point what's the point of putting a system in and then 
having everyone maxing it out in like three days, right? You need to make a system that will take longer and it is harder to actually finish. So I'm actually pretty hyped about the extra P attack. Obviously it means a whole lot harder fight versus basically any king with high perfection. Well, it doesn't have to be a king, but anyone with high perfection is gonna be a fucking, a fucking badass. Shit's gonna, they're gonna spin some heads. It's a lot of fucking P attack. It is, it, it's really a lot of P attack. And I think when they do that, I think a lot will start to um, put a lot more Porter's gems in their equipment. But uh, we'll see. Since everyone, well, all the really, really strong and uh, wealthy kings and princes are gonna, that already have perfection pretty high, are gonna get a fuckload more attack. So everyone else will need more uh, defense against them, which is uh, tortoise gems. So yeah, it's it's gonna be it's gonna you know add a little more interest, I guess. More kings are gonna be uh, well, kings are gonna be more OP, I guess. Well, not kings. The thing is, it's not really dependent on if you're a king or not. You can be a poor fucking king, but if you're a wealthy king or a very wealthy duke or prince. Um, you can get your perfection very freaking high, and you probably already have it freaking high, so good for you. But uh, the rest of us are going to have to grind, and this is a word that you don't really hear a lot in uh, corn groups, because everyone is already used to just getting all the shit they want for free and uh, fast. But uh, it's not going to be fast or easy to high to get perfection at high levels so um yeah i'm i'm still fine with it i actually am laughing at people <laughs> whining on the forums and i think they should keep it i hope they don't uh discard it because some people started crying about it um yeah i i'm i'm good i know i got low perfection i'm only just started the second uh hundred but uh once i just up everything to plus 12, all other bounce APs just goes straight into perfection. So it, either way, it will go up. So I'm not worried at all. I actually want the extra stats. I think it's awesome that they're putting a little more uh, oomph into the new system, perfection. Because, uh, yeah, all the stats were nice and whatnot, all the little thingies. Um, you know, but... All the uh, bonus effects were nice, but uh, adding more to it makes it better since after like level 300 something, you just ran out of stats or whatnot. And uh, yeah, hopefully, 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 um, you know, they also added that you get more shit. Uh, I'm not sure if they spaced it out or not, but uh, now at level 648, you get absolute luck, 6% absolute luck strike. I'm not even sure what that is. But it doesn't really matter as long as, as there's an incentive to go all the way and finish the whole system. And sure, it might take me like, I don't know, 3, 4, 5 years to uh, get to max perfection. Um, still... It's a part of the game, and I'm sure if you guys remember when we started, it wasn't fucking it wasn't fucking easy to even get plus twelves, and right now it's a lot easier. So shit, it's a new system, and right now it's freaking hard, and I'm sure it will get easier in time. I'm sure with events and whatnot, they will make. Anyway, there's really no need to panic, no need for hysteria, people. Just chillax, um, and yeah, kings are gonna hit, well, balkers are just gonna hit a lot harder from now on. Uh, not now, but in like four days, they're gonna hit a lot harder, and uh, it's, it is gonna, it's not gonna unbalance, it's just gonna give them a bit more um, advantage than what they already have, and uh, sure, if they want to bulk it up, they can do it. I have no problem with them bulking up and paying for perfection. You know, that's what they want to do. And uh, I'm going to play my game, which is uh, slower than theirs. 
But uh, we are going to get there, and I do want the fucking wings, the purple wings, more than even the, the P attack. And uh, yeah, I think I might as well consider to um, add a few more Tortoise Gems. Right now I only have two, um, but after the perfection I might think of adding two more since really, really, it's a lot, it's a lot of P attack, it's real lot of P attack, and um, yeah, yeah, it means that uh, you, a lot of people are just gonna get one shot at, even with, uh, without double, uh, without, with a double uh, strike thing that you get from perfection, this is like crazy, crazy a lot of P attack, and I really want to see how much P attack, uh, you know, the max characters already have, well, you know, gonna have after this, it's gonna be crazy. I think they're gonna have more P attack than I have HP. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hopefully, I really want to see uh, it implemented. I really thought, well, you know, for a brief second, I thought maybe they're gonna update it now. But I guess they wanted to show it to us first and then put it ed edit on, which makes me kind of um, think. They might have showed us before because they want the feedback and now that everyone is whining like a little bitch they might uh, tweak it a little bit more and I really like the P attack and uh, everything and yeah sure it might make uh, fire towers stronger and whatnot zapping monks and all that crap hey don't uh, hate the game hate the players <laughs> You know what, if they decide to make a build to counter your yours, then so fucking be it. I'm get, you know, you can do things that a Zap Monk cannot. So, uh, you know, it'll balance in the end. You just need to uh, not be a little bitch about it. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, we didn't get shit for uh, cheap, and uh, so I'll just leave you uh, at this. Uh, stop complaining about the updates and don't be little bitches, I guess. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time.